Hello and welcome to an on location episode of Rufus Eats Cheese. As you may realise, it is Christmas and it's that time of year to go Christmas cheese board shopping. I'm hoping it's really busy everywhere, so I'm hoping I've got some headphones on with a little mic. So hopefully you'll be able to hear me okay. Uh, it's pretty miserable weather and we're going to do the the kind of the rounds really of um, Exeter's supermarkets and cheese places and see what we can find. Hopefully we can find some real nice goodies. So uh, first stop, I am at Tesco's. Uh, it's a big Tesco Extra here in Exeter and uh, let's see what they've got. Hopefully, fingers crossed, there's some left. Okay. We've got a few goodies. I don't normally look in these little fridges as special bits, but there's some nice ones here. So we've got a very really nice old David Stowe cheddar and a Quix, which I particularly like. Which I might have to get a bit of Quix. Oh, that's lovely. It's cloth brown cheddar. It's beautiful, had that before. Need to get a piece of that. Pop that in there. Okay. Some other bits and bobs. What's this? See our little piercing marks here. We've got Tesco Stilton. Tilton Cheesemakers Association. Which one is it though? Just says Blue Stilton. Hmm. Got a Shropshire Blue. Barnston Blue. I have not tried that. If you've tried that one, let me know. Got. Oh, that's a particular favourite. Montagnolo Fini. Very nice. Yeah, definitely get that one. There's a few goodies here. Stratford Blue, Lancashire, Cow's Milk Blue, I have to try it. I've not tried that, let's grab that one. here so we're not gonna get all of it here I don't think okay it's in the normal cheese aisle now there's plenty in here they're all fairly standard cheeses lots more cheddar and stuff just wondering if I can find a nice bit of feta, possibly that is not <gasps> goat's milk. Damn it. Okay, over in the special bits here, or more special bits, we've got some Comte, some Gruyere, some Manchego. Mmm, long round pad. These are kind of nice. I like these. We tend to get these at Christmas quite a bit. That's a little pot of Stilton. It's 
small blues. Some Cornish blue, Danish blue. Okay, I think we're done with Tesco. Only special bits I was after. So we managed to get a quick mature cheddar. Monsignor Fini, which is a bit of a special. Stratford Blue that I've not tried, but I'm sure it's good. And what's really cool is they've got all three of these on offer for five quid. So that's really good. That's a really good price. Oh, you know, he. Whew. Wow. That's a wet old visit to the shop. Oh, but. I can wipe this a minute. That's a bit better. Cool. Okay, so Tesco's actually, I'm not usually a big fan of their cheese, but they do sometimes have some some nice cheeses in. Uh, and obviously they've got the the throughput to make sure that the cheese is pretty much always nice and fresh. So you usually get it in fairly good condition actually. Um, but we managed to get three cracking cheeses from Tesco for a fiver. You can't argue with that. What can you buy for a fiver? Like a latte and some change? Um, what can you buy? Three litres of fuel? <laughs> so, yeah. Three litres of fuel or three bits of cheese. I think I'll stay at home and eat cheese instead. Okay. Next, we're going to uh, Waitrose because that is the next nearest place. So, uh, I will see you there. Okay, carrying on our journey, we are now at Waitrose. Let's see what their cheese selection is going to be like. So, I'm pretty sure they're going to have lots of really special cheeses. But what would be nice is if we can get some really nice cheeses and we can get a bargain as well. That would be brilliant. Uh, that little piece of uh, quick cheddar I got uh, in Tesco was uh, a particularly nice find. I'm quite pleased with that. I really like their cheddar very much and I feel some loyalty is there about two miles up the road from me. So it's excellent cheese. And also Merry Quick has, you know, essentially done so much for the cheese industry and for... Um, cheese culture in this country so uh yeah that's that's all kind of nice reasons to eat quick's cheese okay just got a little fridge here the cheese aisle is absolutely packed so um i've had this before this is a really strong cheddar i think i might have to get that that's really good So nice. Look at our I don't know that. That does look nice. We've got some Buddha. Some Gunte. Side of tea. Cave aged goat cheese. That sounds quite special. Mm, what is that one? That's £3.50 for the wedge. I think I might get a piece of that for Elena. She really likes goat's milk. So let's take that one as well. So we've got it's very regular cheeses. Not generally a fan of these ones where they're there's like stuff mixed in with it. Uh, yeah, I think I'll leave the rest. We do have. Oh, nice bit of long clawson though. Got to take a piece of cheddar. Piece of cheddar. Piece of Stilton. Let's take that one as well. Okay, let's see what we can find on the cheese counter. It does look busy in there today. Okay, I managed to pick up this beautiful piece of Valage. It's quite expensive, £4.90, but it's a good sized piece. It's just 
just over 300 grams. So I'd like to say it'll last a while, but I'm sure it won't. <laughs> so that gives us four goodies so far. I think we've got two. It's got to be, isn't it? This is a beautiful cheese. So this is a duo creme. It has cow's milk and sheep's milk with added cream. Oh yeah. That's beautiful cheese. Let's add that one to our little goodie bag there. So, so far on our trolley, we have five great cheeses. We've got some vintage cheddar, goat's cheese, some long course and blue Stilton, Nice piece of Valage and some Robiola Bocina. So hopefully, but for everyone, totally is 19 quid. If you think in Tesco we managed to get three cheeses for five pounds. So I'm gonna go and check out the biscuits, the cheese biscuits and see what we can do. Okay, I uh, picked up these. Nice little mix in them. I think I'm also, also might get this little mix. These are really nice. These little thin ones. So we'll grab those. Okie dokie, that is Waitrose done. We got a really nice selection there, but uh, it was much more expensive. Um, we bought uh, four cheeses. So we got a, um, a vintage cheddar. We got a, um, a cave uh, aged goat's cheese. There was um, the Robbiola Bocina and a piece of Valage. All really gorgeous cheeses. But with the biscuits that came to about 28 pounds. Um, so no three for a fiver on those ones. So we're now off to Lidl. And I think Lidl might be able to top uh, Tesco on the cheese there because their cheeses are pretty good. Um, I was tempted to buy a piece of Comte, but you can usually buy stuff like that in, um, or, or maybe some Gruyere or something like that, uh, an Alpine cheese in Lidl. So let's go and check out, see what we can find. And if you haven't done your cheese shopping yet, go and do it now. Um, cheese isn't just for Christmas. You can eat cheese at New Year or any other day of the year. So don't make, uh, don't wait till Christmas to uh, to do a fancy cheese board. Okay, here we are at Little. We have uh, this one and one more stop to do after this. So I'm hoping we can find something really nice here. Um, they do tend to have quite a good selection of uh, cheeses with a protected designation of origin. So my, I'm hoping for, fingers crossed, uh, some Comte or Gruyere, maybe um, some uh, Brie de Meaux, which is a gorgeous brie, piece of brie. Uh, they sell it in like a, as a little wedge in a, a, uh, a little spruce container, which is really nice. Um, they also sell Stilton, so uh, I'll have a look and see what they've got there. Um, and it's quite likely some other goodies as well. They do a really nice, um, nice mature Gouda and some other bits as well. Okie dokie. So we usually grab one of these. This is actually a surprisingly nice bit of cheese. It's uh, Somerset cheddar. Nice little crunch to it. That's our day-to-day our -day cheddar usually. It's pretty good. One of those.
We have some Stilton. We have actually bought Stilton already. So, I'm actually gonna go this way. Let's see what we've got here. Gorgonzola. Both of those. Dolce and Picante. Trago, beautiful sheep's cheese. This is a piece of gouda. If you're Dutch, by the way, and you can tell me how to pronounce this properly, I'd be very grateful. That's lovely. And a reserve gruyere. Yeah. It's a bit of a small piece, but it'll certainly do. Could also buy some Rockfall. Okay, I reckon I should do. Giano. Bridamo. Okay, that was a pretty successful trip. We've got uh, Gorgonzola, Picante, and Dolce from the same place. We've managed to pick up some uh, Reserve Gruyere, we've managed to get uh, Brie de Meaux. We've got, well, basically, there's only one cheese there, I think, that doesn't have a protected designation of origin or some kind of geographical uh, protection. So that's pretty special because the whole lot, with some cream and some parsnips as well, actually only came to 20 quid. So uh, in terms of Selection and quality, pretty awesome. So we've got one more stop left, which is Sainsbury's. It's pretty close to here. So we're just gonna have a look in Sainsbury's. I would like another um, Alpine cheese in there. We've got pretty much all the others covered. We've even got some goat's cheese for Liena. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. I reckon we should be able to kick up, pick up hopefully we should be able to pick up a nice piece of uh, ideally Beaufort, but it's not that easy to get hold of. So, so I'm parked right into the sun here. So we've got the, the sun in my face. There we go. So we're gonna just try Sainsbury's, see if we can pick up some Alpine cheese and then we'll be on our way home. We can lay them all out and you can have a, a quick look, see what we managed to get. We've got quite a few gaps here. Uh, see what we can find. Okay. I'm going to grab one of these. Abergavenny goat's cheeses. It's a strength one, it should be super mild. Unless of course, like me, it all smells of goat. So let's grab that one. Wow, a lot of these have been taken. This is uh, Borsin, or would have been. Lots of gaps, lots of gaps. The Cambazola left. I think what I might do is actually grab Castello Blue. That was a really tasty little blue. Very accessible little blue, that one. 
Let's give it a beep. Emmental. Let's grab that. Yeah, we'll take that. some Gruyere, we've got Gruyere. Soyera tea is a really nice cheese, but I think I'm gonna go with the Comte. I think I'll get two bits of Comte, in fact. Just have a little look around, just in case there's any other bits. There's plenty of Stilton left, but we've got some Stilton. For Salou, that's really good. Again, I think we're all right. You can fell, these are nice. I think I should do, let, let me know in the comments if you think I should do a little video about some of these other ones. Beacon fell, Lancashire cheese, looks really nice. Okay, we've got a wall of cheddar on the end. Red Leicester. I've well, got a couple of nice ones here, got some Barber's Crunch Red Leicester. Double Gloucester, little Wensleydale in the middle there. Not even Wensleydale. Do ra actually I might have to get a little bit of Wensleydale. I do rather like Wensleydale. Nice, yeah, we'll grab that. Okay, so here's our final selection. We've got the Costello Blue, Abercrombie Goat Cheese, some Comte, nice piece of Wensleydale, some Emmental, another little bit of Comte. I'll stick that one on top of there. There's two of those, really, isn't it? So that's it. Let's have a look what our total comes to. Thirteen thirty-five. Okay, not bad. Okay, I think we've done pretty well. We've been to uh, Tesco, Tesco Extra. We've been to Waitrose, we've been to Lidl, and we've now been to Sainsbury's. So, if you follow all the way through, you'll see what I've picked up so far, but let's get them home and unpack them and see what we've got there. Some great cheeses. I'm so looking forward to this. We probably need to top it up again for New Year, but uh, that's fine. That's always a pleasure. Right, let's head home. Okay, I just got home and I've just laid out the cheeses. I realized I may have gone a bit over the top, but uh, I'll let you decide. I also forgot that I'd already bought a couple of nice cheeses. So let's take a look and see what we've got for our Christmas cheese haul. This is the biggest cheese haul I've ever done by far. Here we go. So let's start with our staples. So here we have from Lidl a crunchy Somerset cheddar. This is our day-to-day -day cheese. So we, um, yeah, we've got a few of those. This would be like our, when we go shopping, we buy these. So yeah, so that's, that's, that's some cheddar there. Um, yeah, we've also bought some nice cheddar. 
got this lovely bit of Quicks mature cloth bound. Very nice indeed. Um, okay, the first of our blues. It's not real Costello blue. Picked that up as well. That was from Sainsbury's. And the Quicks was from Tesco. And the Deluxe Somerset Crunchy Vintage Cheddar there was from Lidl, really nice. Uh, so we also picked up, if you remember, I was saying I really wanted some Alpine cheese. So I managed to pick up some Comté. Got two of those, because they're quite small. So two bits of Comté. Uh, and I also, of course, picked up, that was from Sainsbury's, uh, I also picked up the Reserve Gruyere, which was from Lidl. Uh, moving on to our sheepy cheeses, I picked up some Manchego, also from Lidl. That was a really good price. And I couldn't help myself. I picked up this lovely Robiola Bossina from Waitrose, which is cow's milk and sheep's milk. It's really, really good. Really good. Um, yeah, so obviously those cheddars weren't quite enough. So I also picked up this nice bit of Cornish quartz. So that one is really, really crunchy. Lovely big crystals in it. Super delicious. Um, and on the Alpine kind of front sort of, we also got a nice piece of Emmental. So there we go. Um, yeah. Uh, Louisa rather likes Gouda. So Gouda, Gouda, Gouda. Remember, let me know, proper way to say it. And I also thought we would get this gorgeous piece of Vallage, which is a beautiful, beautiful bit of cheese. It is a triple creme, and basically that just tastes of cream. It's super delicious. Um, it's kind of creamy, but also, you know, with a bit more poke to it, this lovely piece of Brie de Meaux. Um, nice little wedge there. It's really good. And I actually forgot that I picked up a whole replichon in a nice little dish there, ready for baking. So yeah, I'm not quite sure. Maybe we'll save that for New Year or something. That's a really nice piece. And while we're on the subject of baking, obviously I picked up a um, another cheese. This is a camembert. So we've got a camembert here and there's some nice little fruit compote to go with that. And to go with the brie, a nice little bit of extra creamy brie. So this, this Costello brie is really nice, gentle, lovely and soft, whereas the, the brie de Meaux has got a lot more poke to it, much more body. Uh, so you guys might be wondering, like, surely that's not the only blue that's there? Well, we did pick up Gorgonzola Dolce, uh, Picante, sorry. Um, although actually I was right the first time because we also picked up Gorgonzola Dolce. So we've got Dolce and Picante from Lidl. Very good nice, very, very nice cheeses. Uh, and this lovely bit of Long Clawson Stilton. Nice piece of Stilton. I do like Stilton, I have to say. It's very difficult for me sometimes to choose cheese because I like so many kinds of cheese. And while we're on the blue, subject of blue cheeses, um, I picked up this Stratford Blue, which is rather cheeky looking, looks great. Um, I've not tried this, but it says here that it's rich and creamy and blue, made from local cow's milk. So really looking forward to trying it. It's a three on the old strength scale there. So it might be something like uh, the um, Gorgonzola Dolce maybe, we'll see. Now, this one, Montagnola Fine, is 
It's got labels on everywhere, I don't know if you can see. So it's got a lovely gray bloom mold on the edge. And then it's also got a blue vein inside as well. That is gorgeous. I have reviewed that. I'll stick a card up for it. And uh, I'm gonna pop that one over by the Valage there because that's also incredibly creamy and lovely and delicious. Um, another very, very nice cheese that's, um, if you think of uh, English cheeses, you've got kind of Stilton, You've got cheddar, and then you've also got lots of other nice ones like Wensleydale. And in fact, Wensleydale also has a protected geographical deer designation there, so which I'm delighted that it has. Um, if you've not tried it, it's um, crumbly, delicious, uh, slightly more lactic, and if you'd like me to do a um, a nice little taste review of that. I will do my best. So we can't we can't really buy blue cheeses without obviously including Roquefort. So that's another one from Lidl. They have a great selection of cheeses with a protected designation of origin. Also a sheep's cheese, also blue. So it could go there, or I could kind of put it over with this one and with the. Oh, the Manchego, it's difficult to know where to put it, isn't it? Difficult to know where to put it. Um, another favorite of Elena's, oh, and mine really, is this beautiful Parmigiano Reggiano. And, oh, look at those crystals in there. Hope you guys can see. Let's try it this way. Beautiful crystals in there. That's also Lidl. Very good prices at Lidl. And finally, because I love my wife very much, I got some cave aged goat cheese, which is very lovely, apparently, though I won't be trying it. It's goat cheese. And a nice, soft little Abergavenny goat cheese that looks like a nice little like a little roulade type thing, so it looks nice and soft and light. So, this is what we're gonna be making our cheese board from this Christmas. So there are 30 bits of cheese there. Uh, a couple of them are duplicates. I got two of the Comtes. We've got um, four blocks of the uh, vintage cheddar, which is our, just our day-to-day -day cheddar. It's the one we usually stick in an omelette or something like that. Uh, but I am so looking forward to this. We're going to make a, we're, go, we're visiting family tomorrow. Uh, so rather than taking 30 blocks of cheese with me, I'm going to make up a cheese board and take it along. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll film a little bit of that for you guys to see as well. Anyway, thank you so much for everyone who has uh, liked, shared, commented, and of course subscribed. You've really helped the channel. I can't believe we're on 687, I believe, this morning. 687 subscribers, uh, 687 kindred souls to share cheese with. So if you know anyone who loves cheese and who isn't already watching, then please send them a link to one of my videos. The blue cheese one always seems very popular. So thank you again for all your views and your support. Have a brilliant Christmas and a happy and healthy 2022. And I will see you soon.